What is an administrator's job in a probate sale? We'll get to that right now. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brendan Moore, California realtor and certified probate and trust specialist by the California Association of Realtors. And I'm Bill Heyman. I'm a licensed professional fiduciary, a licensed California real estate broker, as well as a registered and bonded California legal document assistant specializing in probate. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. Want your probate done for no fee? Every day we help people save thousands of dollars and eliminate headaches with our one of a kind probate administration service and real estate listing combo in California. Please reach out to us with any questions. Comment on this video. Our contact information is below. Email, call, text, because we can help you. So, Bill, what is the first thing that administrators should do in a probate sale? Well, the very first thing is he's got to get his appointment from the court. So he's got to go through the probate process, get it filed, and get to that first hearing and get appointed as the administrator before he can do anything in regards to a probate sale. Right, because he's not even the administrator until he gets there on appointment. Yep. So that's your first job. Yep. Right? Absolutely. Get appointed. Absolutely. What would be their their next step after once they got the appointment? You're the court appointed administrator. Maybe you have whatever authority you've been granted. Sure. Yeah, the next step, which is obvious to you and I, but not necessarily to everybody else, is hire a competent realtor such as yourself. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bill. And, and, and competent realtor in probate. And and I get this a lot from people that, that they just want to maybe hire anybody. Uh, but I, I just caution you on that. Probate real estate is quite a bit different. I highly recommend that the administrator interview agents from the perspective of probate sales. Most realtors have never actually listed a probate sale and they can be quite a bit different. We have lots of videos about how they're different. And at the end of this video, there'll be a video linked called how to hire a probate realtor. And then there's uh, 10 interview questions and a downloadable list for you. Very, very important. Yep, absolutely. What's maybe another thing that, that, that the administrator's job is to do? Well, essentially, once you've got the realtor hired that you're going to use for the probate sale, really the job of the administrator from that point forward is, is very similar to a regular seller in a regular real estate sale, except for one thing. The administrator should always keep in mind that everything that he does from that point forward might, might be reviewed by the court. So you wanna make sure that you're dealing with a competent probate realtor that's going to know the steps and things that need to be done in order that if you ever do get called into court, you're able to show them that everything was done correctly and the way it should be. But really things such as as the disclosures, accepting the offer, making sure that you're complying with the real estate contract, that becomes the responsibility of the administrator and with help of a competent probate realtor to get all that done. Communication is also very important this time. So that's definitely a job of yeah. the administrator. You're not only communicating very well with the, with the real estate agent, because a lot of times the real estate agent is going to need documents signed that day. And it's usually over digital signature over email. So you have to be very, very competent with, it's very helpful if you're competent with email. Yes. Sometimes we've, we've dealt in situations where somebody doesn't use email, but at least they make themselves accessible right. to physically signed documents. Yes. But also, and, and you probate a lot of estates, communication directly with you. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's very true. They're, they're, as we've talked a little bit in, in a few other videos, when you do a probate real estate sale, you actually have two different sets of documents that have to be done. You've got the regular real estate documents, but then you got a whole other set of probate documents that have to be done as well. So as Brendan was saying with the real estate docs, sometimes you need things signed same day. Well, that goes also true for the probate docs. Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta have good communication between the administrator and the realtor. And if, for example, I'm probating the estate, I need good communication between the administrator and myself to make sure that we get all the probate side docs done and coordinated with the real estate side docs so that everything comes together and escrow can close on time. Oh, yeah, you could find yourself at the end of the close of escrow when right before the close you know, happens. And the escrow company says, but I don't have all these, <laughs> these documents that are required on the, from, from the probate. And, and those are actually needed in order to close the, the sale. 
and it could take several days, maybe even weeks, if certain ones aren't aren't handled. Yeah. So that is something that is very important. Keep up that communication. Make sure they know what's going on. Yeah, uh, um, you're right. Communication is key uh, between the administrator, the realtor, and whoever is actually doing the probate paperwork. Got to have good communication there. Yeah, and right. that might be an attorney or like Bill, a non-attorney probate administration service. And what I call the probate professional in that case isn't necessarily monitoring the real estate sales part. It really does take the communication between yourself and your realtor to be talking with them. Absolutely. There's also things like maintaining the property. Mm -hmm. the, the property maintenance is very important as a job by the administrator. Yeah. yeah. You know, making sure if, if you have the ability to do it, and sometimes the funds aren't available to do it, or maybe you're not in the area, but even just maintaining the condition of the home. Right. Uh, what are some other things about maintaining well, the property? There, there's obviously, if there's a mortgage on the home, if there's a lien loan against it uh, that needs to be paid every month, you, you want to try to keep making those payments. And <clears throat> sometimes we get into involved in probate cases where, unfortunately, the family does not have money available to make those mortgage payments. Uh, now, if that's the case, there's a, a few different solutions. Um, there are what are called uh, advanced inheritance uh, lending companies out there that will lend money to heirs ahead of time. Uh, the only problem with those is their their fees are extremely high. To me, they seem like they're almost like loan shark type uh, fees, but that is a possibility. Now, the other thing is if, if they don't have the money to make the mortgage payment, you can stop making the mortgage payment, but you, you want to get the home sold before you get into a foreclosure situation, which can begin 90 days. If you miss three mortgage payments, uh, they can generally start the foreclosure process at that point. So. What I always tell people I'm working with when I'm doing the probates for them is, if there's any way you can make the mortgage payment, do it. You will get reimbursed out of estate funds for that once they be, they're available. And one other thing in terms of, of maintaining the property is again, insurance. You wanna to try to keep the home insured if you can, if, you, if you've got the funds to do it, because you know things can happen, things can happen. I'd say in, in a way, some of the summary of this is that an administrator should, one of their jobs is to act diligently. Correct. And, and and quickly. You Correct. don't want the home to go into foreclosure. If it is in pre-foreclosure, you want to get that thing on the market. Yep. We have some videos about probate and foreclosure, and there are some myths that somehow, you know, probate will stop a foreclosure for an indefinite period or something like that. You you want to get that home on the market as quickly as possible. Yeah. So great communication, trying to take care of the property, going through the process uh, and, and, and getting it on the market. Yeah. Very, very important. Absolutely. Which probably gets us to the to, to about the very end of the real estate part of it close to the end, accepting an offer, mm -hmm. and then maybe some negotiations before you accept an offer, such as some offer, counter offer, stuff like that. And that's communication that you have with your real estate agent. And then of course, guiding the process through escrow and closing, making sure you're signing the documents along the way mm -hmm. that the, the real estate agent sends you and just getting things done as, as quickly as possible. Well, hopefully that helps you know what an administrator's job is through the entire probate sale, communication, diligence, it's all very important. And also looking out for the best interest of the estate. You're exactly right on that. And I know, as I've mentioned before, I am a licensed California professional fiduciary, and that's my job is to make sure that I'm always acting in the best interest of the estate, the heirs and the family. I'll tell you, sometimes you're the administrator of the estate, which is also an option that somebody, a family member doesn't have to be the administrator of the estate. You can actually hire somebody else like a licensed professional fiduciary like Bill here. And from my perspective, I always love that because is someone who knows real estate, knows the process, gets everything done quickly, and we get it done fast and yeah. for top dollar. Well, that's all great information, Bill. I think that, that people really need to know how to hire the right real estate agent. So at the end yes. of this video, please click on next video that is called How to Hire a Probate Realtor. It's going to appear right above Bill's head.